was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go unto the altar of God. To God give joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather to offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass, let us turn unto the altar of God, and through an examination of our conscience, confess our sins unto him. Having confessed our sins unto God, I will offer the confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts. Through Christ our Lord. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He has counsel in store for the upright. He is the shield of those who walk honestly. Therefore I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, how infinite is your wisdom, how limited is our knowledge. Transform us by your power, that we may walk in your ways and attain wisdom. 
We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Today, the 17th Sunday in the Ordinary, we take the first reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon, Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you might know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up till now, and after you there will come no one to equal you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I, wisdom, dwell with experience and judicious knowledge attain. Mine are counsel and advice. Mine is strength. I am understanding. Happy the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. For her profit is better than profit in silver and better than gold in her revenue. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My mouth shall speak wisdom. My heart shall offer insight. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of God is like a merchant searching for fine pearls when he finds a pearl of great price 
He goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they call it a shore and sit down and put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into a fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. He then replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. shall receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. These words are taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. On this, the 17th Sunday in the Ordinary, we again visit the Gospel according to Matthew, where Jesus continues to give his discourses on the kingdom of God. We heard of the parable of the sower, that of the tear and the wheat, the mustard seed, and the yeast added to flour. Today we hear the last four parables in the 13th chapter of Matthew. The parable of the man who found a treasure in his field. The parable of the great pearl. The parable of the dragnet for fishes. And finally that which an individual takes out of his storeroom. Today the emphasis is placed on treasure of that which was found in the field and that which was found by a merchant. Treasures have been looked for and searched for for many, many centuries. I found that in 2013 in California, a, co a couple who were walking their dog came across approximately 1,400 gold coins, which was valued at $10 million. That same year off the coast of Ireland, an American treasure hunter found 60 tons of silver with the estimated value of 77 million. And finally in 2011, in an underground chamber, 
in a temple in South India. Gold and jewels were found with an estimated value of 22 billion. There are many treasures that have been found and there are many treasures that have not yet been discovered. In his parables is a treasure not of gold and silver, but rather that which endures after we pass from this earth. Jesus came to teach common man of the kingdom. It was John the Baptist who proclaimed Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Individuals in the time of Jesus had a basic understanding through the words of the prophet that the kingdom of God would be that which was overlooked by a king. But when Jesus came, he spoke clearly. He spoke of the transparency of the kingdom of God. And so, when we look at the parables of Jesus, there are some who feel that this is the kingdom of God that awaits us when we pass from this earthly plane. But in the gospel of Jesus, the good news, Jesus tells us that not only the kingdom of God is at hand, but speaks in the Gospel of Luke that says the kingdom of God is neither here nor there, but the kingdom of God exists within. And so as we look at the parables of Jesus, we are brought closer to that eternal treasure that is within the heart and soul of man. We take the first reading from the Old Testament, where we hear God asking Solomon what he wants. Solomon did not ask for gold or riches or for prayers for his enemies, but rather to have wisdom and understanding. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we are instructed to transform and to understand that the kingdom of God is like the parables that Jesus spoke about in Matthew. It begins with the, with the word of the Lord being sowed into the field, into the hearts and minds of individuals. It germinates and grows among the tears of life. We also find that that which is needed to have that seed take root is faith. And that once it is realized, that it is a treasure that is beyond measure. It is like a great pearl that an individual finds and sells everything they have. It is like a net that is cast forth by which we collect the good and the bad and separate the two. And finally, it is as the individual who takes everything out of their storehouse, both old and new, and learns to discern what is temporary and what is everlasting. And so it is in our understanding of the gospel of Jesus Christ that the kingdom of God is upon us. And to the degree that we ask will be the degree that we receive. That which we ask for will be granted unto us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. But if any of you lack wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memories we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray my brothers and sisters that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Heavenly Father, through this oblation, change our hearts. That our lives may be parables of your greatness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your whore hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and called us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. We pray this day for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, for the hungry and for the homeless, for the unemployed, for all those who suffer from the COVID-19 virus. We pray this day also for abused and neglected children in our world, for all victims of violence both here and abroad, for all those who serve in our armed forces both here and abroad, and all your present whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance and who freely choose to serve you the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing unto yourself so that it might be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily, in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, 
and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice in immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen by whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew, and all the saints. Grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, and secure from all disturbance.
through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be caused from my judgment or condemnation, Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entire, entirely with you, my Lord and my God. Grant this, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall we return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With thy praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
to those who are called Jews and Greeks alike, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us true insight that we who have been strengthened by your presence may bring forth treasures both old and new and be made worthy to be called your disciples. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifices offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effected for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life. Life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. He came to his own, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him be empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. Became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. and sisters, I welcome you today as we offer the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. It is my prayer that all of you might be blessed by God, you and your loved ones, with health, peace, and happiness. We will conclude this morning with the offering up of a final prayer for the living as well as for the deceased and for our own personal intentions. May God be with all of us until we meet again. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful, departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.